This is the F38X Air Cross Travel Tripod that Yolandi sent to me for review and it's fantastic. It costs $260 and is made of carbon fiber, making it durable, lightweight and stable, while also being extremely simple and quick to deploy. Check this out. One, two, three. Bam! Bam and bam! That took about five seconds. Well, maybe seven, but it's so simple and quick to set up this tripod, I love it. Let's see what other features it has. Starting with what's in the box, along with the tripod, you'll get a nice fluid head with a hidden Allen key, two Allen keys for adjusting the legs, a phone mount and a soft carrying case. Moving on to the build quality and design, this tripod has an excellent build quality. The main triangle frame is made of aluminum and the rest is made of carbon fiber. It features a five leg section design. Each leg has large rubber feet for added ground stability, as well as a rubber grip on one of the legs for ease of transport. This tripod, is extremely simple and quick to deploy. If you're used to using a tripod with a twist lock mechanism, it's very similar, but leans more towards a selfie stick deployment design, making it much faster and easier to deploy. To deploy the F38 tripod, simply hold one of the rubber feet and twist it in a clockwise direction to deploy the leg. There will be a hard click for each leg section for a total of four clicks. It becomes second nature once you get used to it. However, there is one minor flaw with this design, at least for me, maybe I just need to get used to this tripod. Anyway, the drawback is that I occasionally struggle to adjust the tripod to the middle height. So going to the highest or lowest level is quite simple and frictionless but if you want to adjust this tripod to the middle height between the highest and lowest level it can feel a bit weird with this selfie stick leg design. Also, if I unfold the tripod to the first leg height, two legs will have narrow leg sections as they should, but the third will have a large leg section causing the tripod to be unleveled. That means I'll have to make a few adjustments to the narrow section legs to compensate for the other large section leg. It's a little annoying because I want each leg level to be the same height and not like you're seeing right now, two legs are shorter than the other one. If I'm gonna put this tripod now on the ground, it's going to be unleveled. So to compensate, I'm gonna have to move this leg here and this leg here, and now the tripod is going to be leveled, but it requires a lot of paying attention to the height of the legs, which is kind of annoying. However, maybe I just got a bad unit. I don't know. Anyways, let's move on to the fluid head and also the F38 ecosystem. This tripod fluid head is based on Ulanzi's F38 camera mounting ecosystem. I've been using this ecosystem for the past two years and I am very happy with it. It's extremely fast, secure and reliable. The F38 fluid head is small and light with a load capacity of 3 kilograms and an all metal design. It weighs only 379 grams and measures 95 millimeter tall and 55 millimeter wide. There is a 3 8 inch thread at the bottom and as far as I know this tripod only supports 3 8 inch ball heads and fluid heads. I couldn't find a way to convert this thread to quarter inch so if you have a quarter inch thread uh, ball head you're gonna have to use an adapter. Moving on, the fluid head has three adjustment knobs. The first one allows you to adjust the head level. There is also a level indicator. The second one allows you to adjust the pen movement. And the last one allows you to adjust the tilt movement. There is also a nice handle that can be easily adjusted. According to my tests, it has a very smooth pan and tilt action. It's simple to use with the handle and knobs. And there's enough friction adjustment for lightweight cameras like my Sony ZV-E1. However, I find the panning movement to be smoother than the tilt movement unless you use a piece of rubber to stabilize things. I learned this rubber trick a long time ago when I had a one throat of fluid head. Basically, instead of just using your hands to create the movement, you're also going to take a piece of rubber, attach it to the handle and then create the movement to make things even smoother. Moving on, this tripod has cool features like two quarter inch threads on the sides of the main triangle for mounting lights and accessories, as well as a removable hidden phone mount in the center column. The center column can also be flipped for macro shots and the legs are adjustable for use on any surface. All of this in a very narrow and compact package that will easily fit in almost any backpack. Now let's talk about weight and size. The tripod's default weight with fluid head and mini phone mount 
ground is 1065 grams with a minimum height of 44 centimeters and a maximum height of 156 centimeters. However, I use this tripod with my old F38 ball head because I don't really use fluid heads that often and I would rather save the weight. Anyhow, with this configuration, the total weight drops to 810 grams with a minimum height of 40 centimeters and a maximum height of 152 centimeters. So while the ball head saves about 250 grams, it also lowers the height by 4 centimeters. When the ball head is removed completely, the tripod weighs 687 grams and has a minimum height of 35 centimeters and a maximum height of 147 centimeters. And if you want to save even more weight, you can remove the phone mount, which weighs 21 grams, and the lower part of the center column, which weighs 33 grams, saving about 50 grams in total, but the maximum height will be limited to 121 centimeters. So I hope this covers everything about the weight slash height configurations of this tripod. Let's move on to stability. As I previously said, the fluid head load capacity is 3 kilograms. However, the tripod can support up to 10 kilograms of weight. So if you have a larger ball head, you can definitely use it here and increase the load capacity. In terms of stability, I've been using this tripod with my lightweight Sony ZV-E1 and prime lenses, and it seems to be quite stable with my setup. I don't think this tripod is meant for holding very heavy cameras, but there is a backpack hook mount on the bottom of the center column that can help stabilize the tripod. I don't think you'll have any problems when it comes to stability if you're using lightweight mirrorless cameras. To summarize, I think the Yolanzi F38 video travel tripod is fantastic. It's very light, compact and well made. It's simple to set up and stable enough to hold a small slash medium mirrorless camera. And the F38 ecosystem is amazing. The only downside is that it can be difficult to adjust the tripod to a medium height with the selfie stick leg mechanism. I honestly love this tripod. It's going to be my main tripod for this YouTube channel. And if I have any major issues with it, I'll make a video and update you guys. Thanks for watching.